Hey guys, it's Shane. I feel like today we should just go on an adventure. I'm feeling the urge to like get outside, get creative, feel the fresh air. So let's go. The old rollerblades. Yeah, baby, they're in here. Sweet. For a super long time, I haven't really gone outside to play, I guess, because I don't know, it's just, when you live in Mumbai, which is such a crowded city, it's not that fun to go outside, to be honest. And the streets are pretty crowded and a little bit dirty. So when you go outside, it's not an enjoyable experience. So I just haven't gotten that much fresh air and I'm kind of craving that. Now I'm gonna rollerblade because it's been literally years. Woo! The amazing thing about rollerblading is that it literally feels like you're flying. It's magical. That was really fun. I guess right now I'm gonna go have some tea because I'm really in the mood for some puer. It just feels like it's gonna hit the spot. Pu'er from Singapore. Mm, very enticing. <laughs> I'm definitely in some kind of adventurous mood today. I just get in these moods where I just feel like super creative sometimes. And like there's an adventure, something mysterious to uncover. I don't know if that makes sense, but Definitely have that feeling today, and yeah, let's let's figure it out. I'm actually getting some work done right now. Just kind of like in the zone. It feels really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm liking what I'm creating. But the thing is, when you spend so much time in front of a computer, it's like I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, I also don't want to spend all the time in front of the computer. Like if it was an e-ink screen where it wasn't all this light at me, I think I would feel a little bit better. But I, I think in this video, I'm sounding so lame, like a grandpa or something, but it's how I feel. <laughs> good climbing training to do these like upside down climbing get your footwork this thing is so fun I don't care how weird I look or how creepy I look I'm always gonna play on playgrounds they're so much fun yeah today was just a super fun day but I gotta get some sleep because tomorrow morning I got a flight I'm gonna be flying out visit some family visit some friends and it's kind of what I gotta do when I come to America, just make my rounds. So yeah, let's get some sleep. I just picked up a rental car. I'm on my way to Canada to visit one of my best friends. And yeah, I'm so excited. There it is, I'm about to cross immigration. Hopefully they let me in with the way this car is smelling. This car just reeks of weed and I picked it up like that. I hate the smell of weed. It's my best smell. Have a good day. It's Toronto. Look at all that cheese. Going to a Finnish sauna here in Canada. I'm so excited. It's something that I've been missing since I lived in Finland. Just ordered Jamaican jerk chicken meal. And I've been craving Caribbean food for so long. Oh my god. Mm. I have a pimple. Ali has a pimple, but we just met after three weeks and turns out she's on the same flight back as me. 
I Not just walked out. out. We knew that like three days ago, <laughs> but, but it wasn't planned. No. We just walked out. Feels so good to be back after all of that traveling. I didn't get to film a whole lot of the trip just because, you know, when you're out with friends and stuff and family, you don't want to be filming. We're going to watch the Archie's movie that just came out. We're going to watch that while we wrap Christmas presents. We also have this divider that we put up so we can't see what we're wrapping. I'm so happy I'm finally getting a new phone because I just keep getting Alia's hand-me-downs because I, I don't really need a new phone, but yeah, whenever she gets a new one, I just take her old one. First video on my new phone, Alia is currently watching a tutorial on how to cut my hair because she's gonna give me a haircut. Because he's spoiled and doesn't want to go to a barber, so he's making me do it. And now <laughs> if I mess it up, you can't say anything. You better not. <laughs> I feel like I look like uh, a girl. Oh! Cool. <laughs> I'm scared. Dude, Alia, what? you're not allowed to be scared. You have to go in with the utmost confidence. I have to get it fixed every What? Get it fixed? Yeah, if it's not like good. You might have to get it fixed. There is, the we're burning the boats here. I'm not going to a barber, so you have to make it good. <laughs> Shame. This is way too much pressure for me for my first time cutting hair. This is your creation. You get to give me your dream haircut. Think of it like that. I don't have a dream haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wondering why Ali's cutting my hair. It's because I don't like going to the barber and yeah, you should watch my other vlog if you need an update on that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You watched a tutorial. Though. I know, but I'm not even following it. <laughs> Follow the tutorial. I'm just going with the flow honesty at this point. All right. And hopefully it's gonna have to be decent. You have a good eye for fashion and stuff, so I feel like it can turn it out good. There's a huge difference in having a good eye for fashion and cutting someone's hair. Yeah, but I think the only thing that matters, honestly, if you know what it's supposed to look like. You know, like, that's what artistic ability comes down to, I think, is you, you just know what something's supposed to look like more than having, like, a steady hand, you know? Oh, are you chip dropping like that? How come I've never seen the barber do that before, Alia? 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 <laughs> Barbara has never taken that large of a clump of my hair. And then, I mean, you need to go in smaller sections. You can't just... I thought I would save time. <laughs> no. It's too late now. No, you have to yeah, feather it. it. Make sure it looks even. Comb, can you I comb it? I am not a hairstyle. What do you mean feather it? I don't know how to feather it. Okay, can you comb it, please? Okay. I think we're done. The front looks good. Back, but no one's gonna really look at your back. Nice! All right, babe. Good job. We're gonna try and get the P.F. Chang's aesthetic today. Ew, we don't want a P.F. Chang's aesthetic. <laughs> However, I, I must say P.F. Chang has really good lettuce wraps. I've never ate here. I didn't even know it was a restaurant. It's a chain. It's all over the U.S. You're clearly not American. So today I had a random thought come in that was like, I play all these instruments and I'm not necessarily a master of any of them, but Instead, I'm just like, you know, ranging in skills of like pretty good to not really knowing much about the instrument and just playing around because I'm self-taught on most of these. And I'm thinking, you know, is it better to kind of just take one instrument and really master it? It was a good question, you know, because there's one philosophy that says that you should really commit yourself and become the like really great 
at one particular thing because then it takes away from others. And the other one says, well, you know, you can diversify yourself and add variety to your life. And honestly, I think that the latter is um, what I like more. I think that the only thing that matters when it comes to playing an instrument is not necessarily how good you are relative to other people and stuff, but how much enjoyment it brings because the whole process of making music is so creative. It's like your soul, you're letting it free and you can't put rules on enjoyment, you know? Like I'm definitely gonna continue to explore new instruments and probably collect more really unique ones and uh, yeah, continue to play them at various varying levels of skill, but that doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, my goal isn't to become like a professional musician, anything. It's really just to enjoy the process but i'm gonna go make a sandwich and i think i'm going to wrap up the vlog here so peace out mm -hmm.